Hello YouTube, and this is Mr. Ross here. So I'm here just to uh, give you some information about the uh, Year 11 and Year 12 uh, course of Ancient History. So it's one of our easy subjects. So I'm just going to go through this presentation and just give you some more information regarding uh, this subject. Okay, so this uh, course is a Category A course. So what that means is, just like many of your other uh, courses in Year 11 and 12, the subject uh, on completion will provide you with two units towards your ATAR. So it will be very valuable to those uh, people who are keen on going on to university. But of course, ancient history is, um, is a very interesting subject and many students uh, find it uh, very valuable uh, for other reasons as well. So here's a bit of an overview of the, of the subject itself. Uh, so I won't go through each point, but I'll allow you just to have a look at that yourself in your own time. Um, but regarding this, a particular subject, um, essentially uh, both, the, both the courses, Year 11 and Year 12, you'll be looking at a, a range of different societies. Uh, you're looking at um, different features of societies, different individuals or personalities, different types of themes, um, and also looking at different ancient sites that are still very, very relevant today. Um, and underpinning all of that will be a very close study of both written and archaeological, which is physical evidence. Um, and other types of sources of information in order to um, understand all these different features. So here's a breakdown of the Year 11 course. So the Year 11 course in um, 2020 that has been um, uh, half completed by our students has been uh, following this program here. So you can see there are three different sections that you need to complete. The first section is the investigating ancient history aspect, which is worth 50%. And you can see the breakdown there, you've got the nature of ancient history and you complete two case studies. So what this uh, particular topic is all about, it's uh, essentially a bit of an introduction to the course. It will include aspects of archaeology, but you also do case studies on human remains. So the uh, preservation and the display of human remains. And we do a very close focus on bog bodies of Northern Europe and also Otzi the Iceman. So a very, very significant um, a study of uh, human remains that have been found around the world and um, by looking at those we can understand how people lived from the past. We'll also look at an ancient site and the ancient site we'll look at is Deal Medina which is a New Kingdom site. It was where the tomb builders of the New Kingdom era used to live in Egypt and um, they were responsible for the building of the tombs in the Valley of the Kings, so a very significant topic. The other part we do is the features of ancient societies worth 30%. And in this part, we'll look at uh, two different societies. The first one, we'll look at New Kingdom Egypt. So sort of on the back of Dior Medina, we'll look at New Kingdom Egypt and we'll do a very close study of the role of women in New Kingdom Egypt. And the other part is power and image in ancient Rome. So in particular, we're talking about the early Republic. So not the early Republic, the early Empire. Um, so when the Republic um, came to an end and the Empire began, the Roman Empire, and we will do a very close study of emperors um, and also monuments. The most famous monument we're going to look at uh, is actually on the screen, which is the Colosseum. So, you know, the Colosseum was a, an amphitheater which is built in the center of Rome and was uh, constructed to hold gladiatorial contests. So, we'll do a very close study of that. And the other part is the historical investigation. So, historical investigation is a, a large assignment. And what it will be, it's an essay and a presentation that you will uh, complete as a body of work on an ancient topic of your choice. So it's a very, very uh, popular assignment in that so you get to choose your own topic and gives you a bit of freedom of what you want to study. Okay, so the Year 12 course. So the Year 12 course is uh, a bit more rigid in that um, each term uh, you'll do a different topic. So you can see there are four different topics, so four terms four topics. Um, so your course study, you'll do Cities of Vesuvius, which is uh, Pompeii and Herculaneum. Um, so Pompeii and Herculaneum is your, um, uh, is, is your course study and there's one that everyone across New South Wales must cover. You'll also do um, some, uh, some work on an ancient society, which is uh, Spartan society, the Battle of Lutra. So Sparta was a, um, an ancient city-state in Greece and is known for its uh, it's warlike nature. We'll also look at a personality. Uh, the personality we look at is Hatshepsut. So Hatshepsut was a, a female pharaoh and she actually ruled for 22 years. So a very, very significant individual in ancient history. And our final topic is the historical period. 
The historical period we cover is the Greek world from 500 to 440 BC. So that 60 year period was a very crucial uh, period in ancient history and uh, really um, had a, a lot of um, uh, happened in those 60 years um, in terms of Greek history, but also world history. It was a time when the Greek Persian Wars occurred. So the Greek Persian Wars were a number of um, wars made up of a number of battles. For example, the Battle of Thermopylae is probably the most famous. And, um, and this period um, started to see the development of ideas such as democracy, uh, which will be a heavy part of the study that we do in that period. So you can see a few uh, careers that uh, sort of come from the study of ancient history. So uh, we hope to see you in an ancient history class very soon.